Hello and welcome to Sensible's Option Learning Series, where we are learning options in depth. After watching this series, you will be able to see options like professional seat. So let's continue our journey of exploring options. In the last episode, we have discussed what are call and put options. In this part, we'll discuss in depth how and why do option prices change. what factors affect the change in option prices there are four major things that affect the price of an option number 1 stock price number 2 strike price 3 time fourth volatility which is a measure of how much market fluctuates and fifth interest rates since the interest rate don't change much so we can comfortably ignore them in this video we'll discuss the effect of stock price and strike price we'll discuss the time and volatility in the next videos let's first understand how option prices change with stock price number 1 effect of stock price on call options assume on january 1st sbi is trading at 500 rupees you want to buy sbi soon you are afraid that the price may go up so you buy a 500 strike call option for that i charge you 10 rupees as i am selling you the protection from price fluctuation what we have learned in the previous videos after 3 days On fourth January, SBI went to five thirty rupees. What do you think will happen to the price of SBI call option with five hundred strike? The price of five hundred call option will increase. It will be somewhere around thirty rupees, not exactly thirty, slightly more. You might have guessed it right. It will increase. We know from our previous chapter that the call option makes money. when the stock price moves up but why does this happen the call option gives you the right to buy the stock at the strike price if the stock price stays here that is at 530 it gives you the right to buy sbi at 500 from me and sell in the market for 530 this means the option can make you a profit of 30 rupees which makes the option worth at least 30 rupees Now let's understand the effect of stock price change on put option. On January first, SBI is trading at five hundred rupees. You are worried the price will go down in the near future, so you buy a five hundred strike put option. I charged you ten rupees as I am selling an option to protect you, like an insurance. After three days, on fourth January, SBI tanks to four seventy. what do you think might have happened to put option price the price of 500 strike put option will increase to somewhere around 30 rupees you might have guessed it right as we know from our previous chapter that the put option makes money when the stock price moves down but why does this happen the put option gives you the right to sell the stock at the strike price if price of sbi stays here that is at 470 it gives you the right to sell sbi at 500 to me so you can sell something worth 470 to me immediately at 500 you will make 30 rupees profit here which makes the option worth at least 30 rupees now i guess you have a fair idea how call option and put option prices change with respect to stock price movement Now let's understand how the option prices change with respect to strike price. Before we get in there, let me state you two obvious facts. Number one, an option that is more likely to make money will be more expensive than an option that is less likely to make money. Number two, the higher the chance of making money from an option, the higher the price of that option. Now let's understand the change in call option price with strike price. The call option of the higher strike price is cheaper 
and the call option of a lower strike price is expensive. Why? Simple. Imagine SBI is trading at 500 rupees. What is more likely to make money? 460 call, 500 call or 550 call? Let us look at these three scenarios and find out. Number one, what are the chances of SBI ending above 460 at expiry? Very high because it is already above 460 and just need to stay here. Number two, what are the chances of SBI ending above 500 at expiry? Decent because it is at 500 and there are 50% chance that it will expire above it. Number three, what are the chances of SBI ending above 550 at expiry? Pretty low. There is such a long distance to 550. Let us illustrate this. Currently SBI at 500 rupees. You come to me to buy a call option. I'll charge the different strike option with a different price as below. For 460 strike price, I'll charge you 45 rupees. For this strike, if SBI expires where it is, you will make 40 rupees straight. This makes this option worth 40 at least. And 5 rupees is for price can go up more till expiry. For 480 strike, I'll charge you 30 rupees. For this strike, if SBI expires where it is, you will make 20 rupees straight. This makes the option worth 20 rupees at least. 10 rupees is again for price can go up more till expiry. For 500 strike price, I'm charging you 20 rupees and pay close attention to this. In this, the stock is at 500. So the entire 20 rupee price is for the hope that SBI may go up more till expiry. For 520 strike price, I'm charging you 10 rupees. The stock price is below the strike. See, the option is worth nothing straight away. So the entire 10 rupee here is for the hope that SBI may go up till expiry. As there are fewer chances that the price will go this high, so I am charging less premium. For 540 strike, I'm charging you 5 rupees. I don't think the price will ever go till 540 in this expiry but I can't give the insurance or option for free. So I am charging you a nominal premium of 5 rupees. Look at the above table and read this phrase again. The call option of a higher strike price is cheaper and the call option of a lower strike price is expensive. I think now you got it. As we move from 500 to 540, option buyers are less likely to make money. This explains why it is so cheap. And that's why the far away options are called lottery tickets. Like lottery tickets, option buyers buy these cheap options to win big in the market. And we know what usually happens to lotteries. Now let's understand how put option prices change with strike price. The put option of lower strike price are cheaper and the put options of higher strike price are expensive. Why? Remember our old fact, an option that is more likely to make money will be more expensive than an option that is less likely to make money. The higher the chance of making money from an option, the higher the price of that option. Let me explain it with an example. Currently, SBI is at 500 rupees. You come to me to buy a put option. I'll charge the different strike options with different price as below. For 540 strike put option, I'll charge you 45 rupees. For this strike, if SBI expires where it is, you will make 40 rupees straight. You can buy SBI at 500 and use your right to sell me at 540 rupees. 
this makes the option worth 40 rupees at least 5 rupees is for price can go down more till expiry for 520 strike price i'm charging you 30 rupees for this strike if sbi expires where it is you will make 20 rupees straight this makes this option worth 20 rupees at least 10 rupees is for again price can go down more till expiry for 500 strike i'm charging you 20 rupees pay close attention to this for this strike the stock is at 500 so the entire 20 rupees is for the hope that sbi may go down till expiry for 480 strike price i'll charge you 10 rupees the stock price is above the strike so the price is worth nothing straight away so the entire 10 rupees is for the hope that SBI may go down till expiry. As there are fewer chances that the price will go this low. So I am charging you less premium in this. For 460 strike, I am charging you only 5 rupees. Because I don't think the price will ever go till 460 in this expiry. But I can't give the insurance or the option for free. So I am charging you a nominal premium of 5 rupees. Look at the above table and read this phrase again. The put option of a lower strike price is cheaper. And the put option of higher strike price is expensive. I think now you got it. As we move from 500 to 460, option buyers are less likely to make money this explains why it is so cheaper and that's why they are called lottery tickets like lottery tickets option buyers buy these cheap options to win big in the market and we know what usually happens to lotteries now let's put everything together what we have learned in this chapter here is a snapshot of nifty option chain from sensible platform for that the link is in the description feel free to open it and explore it from what we have learned till now you can see it here that the lower strike call options are expensive but more likely to make money and the higher strike call options are as lottery Similarly, if I talk about put option, the higher strike price put options are expensive but more likely to make money and the lower strike put options are like lotteries. And we know that the lottery tickets are generally cheap as compared to the price. Now let's summarize everything we have learned in this video, also adding a small exercise for you to solve. Comment down your answers and we'll give a small token of love to 5 random right answers. Number 1. The effect of stock price on option. If the stock price goes up, the call option price also goes up but the put option price goes down. What will happen if the stock price goes down? Well, that's for you to guess and answer it in the comment section. Number two, effect of strike price on options. Higher the strike price, the call options will be cheaper, the put option will be expensive. What will happen to the lower strike price? Answer down in the comment section. Number three, the option that is making money right away is more expensive because it is already worth something. The difference between the strike and the stock price. Number four, the option that is expensive is more likely to make money. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will learn about the time value and the intrinsic value of the options. Till then, take care and have a safe and happy trading with Sensible. Bye-bye.